When I started with automated trading, I was looking for the very best indicator I could find. Today I know indicators are totally overrated, but if I had to choose one, it would be Bollinger Bands. In case you don't know what that is, this indicator will show three lines and most of the time the price will stay within these lines. But if it breaks out like here and it does a re-entry, we want to open a trade. In our case, the period value will be 20 and the deviations value will be 2. First of all, we will create a new expert advisor from a template and call it Check Bollinger Bands. In the onTick function, we will call Check Bollinger Bands Trade, the only other function. And here you can find the Bollinger Bands period and the Bollinger Bands deviation we just defined. These two lines will calculate the lower and upper Bollinger Bands for the last candle. And these two lines will calculate previous Bollinger Bands. Here we will check if the current lowest price is higher than the lower Bollinger Band and if the lowest price was below the previous lower Bollinger Band before. And if we do not have any open trades, we want to buy. In the other case, if the highest price of the last candle is below the upper Bollinger Band, and if the highest price of the candle before was above the previous upper Bollinger Band, we are going to sell. Very simply, A, eh? but you will love the results. Please press F4 and start your backtest. Okay, I will speed up things a little bit here, but as you can see, we have a sell trade here because there was a re-entry from the upper Bollinger Band. Let's see the results. And this one is below the lower Bollinger Band, so it's a buy trade. So far the results are pretty amazing. Let's see the results for a whole year. Okay, our total net profit is $58.66.